Okay, here we are back in Jimmy and the Pulsating Mass. My voice is still kind of bad, so I'm not going to be able to do Lars's voice. But we are told to find Bucket Tetsuya Kawaii, so let's go. As for what form I stay in here, we'll have to wait and see. Yo, kid. That's far enough. What's the matter, kid? Surprised to see me? Tetsuya Kawaii may make crappy toys, but they've got a killer eye for security. Quit bragging, Johnny. Our win-loss record with the kid is pretty bleak. Hey, Jimmy. It's me, Big Enormous. I did it, man. I lost the weight. I prefer you call me Big Norman now. It just helps me focus more on who I really am instead of who others want me to be. Norman! Johnny! Dee Dee! Oh, man! You look so great! Boss! We thought your brain was broken! We didn't think you'd remember us! We didn't... Oh man, I promised myself I won't cry no more. We've been working on ourselves, boss. We're trying to be the best people we can be. I used to think that the number I saw on the scale was all I was. Through meditation and the power of positive thinking, I learned that I can finally be just who I really am. And the weight? It came right off! Diet and exercise. That's the only secret. When I was training in Sacred Lantern, I had a lot of time to think. Maybe. Just maybe, the kid beat me because he was just stronger than me. And that's okay. I only had myself to blame. If the kid's stronger, what should I do? Get stronger myself. I got over my pride and learned some real martial arts. I'm not some know-nothing punk anymore. Most of all, I learned how to harness the anger I felt inside. Instead of letting it control me, I control it. Now I'm unstoppable. And me? I learned the knives are stupid. What's the point of pulling, putting all your self-worth into something that can be taken so easily? That's why you shouldn't call me Johnny Knives no more. Call me Johnny Katana. One. The Katana is the perfect blade. My skill with it is absolute. Two. Johnny Katana is an awesome name. So cool. Man. It's so good to see you guys again. You've all gotten so much cooler. If we were back in the old days, we'd really rough up some stuff. Just say the word, boss. Let's ditch this joint and reform the Petty Thugs. We'd have to get a new bunch of goons, but we put them in line real quick. Johnny, my man. That sounds like music to my soul. But, I gotta stay with the kid for now. What? Ain't we good enough, boss? Listen to me, Johnny, and listen good. You were always good enough. Even when you were a weak little baby, you were good enough. Why? Because you're my friend. You're all my friends. Boss! So this ain't about who's good enough to hang out with Punch Tanaka. I just owe the kid. That's all. And Punch Tanaka always pays his debts. We know, boss. We know. Well, whatever. I'm not gonna get all teary-eyed of crap like this. Where are you going, Didi? You're still on security detail. Think I care about this job? This place sucks Mr. Mocker doesn't pay us anything worth a crap. So what if we let the kid go by? Not like it's any of my concern. Well, I guess that's it for now. It was good to see you again, boss. You too, kid. You look good. Like you're really giving a good fight. Keep at it. I'm sure we'll meet again. Boss, man. I'm gonna miss you. But you got your own life to live. I get that. I do too. You lucked out, kid. We're so tough now. You got no idea. Maybe one day we can have a rematch. You know, just for fun. Kid, I got this feeling welling up inside me. It feels like, I don't know, it feels like sunshine. I think it's pride. We better move on before my sunglasses can no longer hide my tears. Jimmy hits the button for the top floor. The elevator stopped early. It's so cold in here. It's like they keep the thermostat below freezing. I can see my breath. There's something unsettling about that atmosphere. I feel a dark presence enveloping the building. How are you able to detect stuff like that? I have fought with shadow warriors all over the galaxy. They transmit energy at waves. And they transmit energy waves at a certain frequency that my moon crystal can detect. Over time, I've learned to feel these even without my moon crystal. It's like there's a disturbance in the air. 
It's like a temperature drop. Is the temperature drop a sign of evil forces? No, I think their AC might just be broken. Oh, I thought I was gaining superpowers. Anyway, we need to be careful. The energy I'm feeling isn't like the Shadow Warriors, and it's not exactly like the principal either. It's definitely strong, though, and hostile. The employee is loudly snoring. There's a security card sticking out of his front shirt pocket. Yoink! Level 1 pass. Ran into the fortune cat. The reason why I'm not pointing this out is you can steal marvelous coins from him. One dropped after the fight, bringing me up to 8. I think you need like 30 or something to unlock everything from Mr. Marvelous. But you can also steal a set piece from him. Which was... Nekineko, the fortune cat. So that's part of the fuzzy set. So I have three pieces of it. He also gives a nice chunk of money, too. I'm trying not to cough in the microphone, so you may have me just drop out periodically. Yes, men are a tad dangerous just due to the fact that they copy one another to a degree. They worked over Lars hard. So, I got worked over by the cat there. It doesn't seem to follow a specific pattern. Kind of weird. I still stole the Marvelous one, so it really matters. So I... Like, hold on. Are we it? Okay, I almost missed whoever's here. If there's anything here. It's just looking like there isn't. That last fight was worth a thousand EXP, which is really nice. <sighs> okay, so that's when I finally ran into the mascot, who turns into some sort of alien thing if you steal his costume. Um, I didn't see if I got that piece of the fruity set. Strawberry Bound, that's what it was. You can steal that from the little robot thing. So I guess the only reason you come to this floor is if you want to, uh... So I'm starting to build up a few fortune coins from these cats. My main concern is, if I clear this place out, do I lose the ability to fight the cats? You can't actually do anything with that dude. So anyway, real quick, you want to do the high five around the board. And we're good to go a few more rounds. And Totomi got one shot, so I'm going to try to go all the way to the bottom. The hell? Can we not leave? Like, I don't know if there's a way to revive her. I don't really want to have to waste the money on the item, but I may be forced to. That sucks. Actually, I'll be back. Okay, so I did a little bit of grinding off camera. Money grinding in the arcade, that is. So we're now on the uh, 87th floor, I believe. Another fortune cat bites the dust. Hitomi got worked over in the process, though. So there's nothing we can do on this floor. Hello, I'm one of the Yang siblings. The handsome one. I don't know how I got my nickname. Guess it just came sort of naturally. I've been working on something top secret, but you'll never find out what it is. Why? I forgot my passcode. I've got level 3 access, too. I'd be worried about losing my promotion, but it's easy to get ahead when you're as handsome as this. 
So we have to get his code, and then he'll give us level 3 access. Nothing there. Hello, I'm one of the Yang siblings. The bald one. I don't think it's fair that I have to be the bald one. I still have lots of hair. It's just thinning. When I was a kid, I used to have long, luxurious hair. Now that my hair is thinning, my siblings make fun of me. Even Diljin Yang makes fun of me, and he's fat and lazy. If I could choose my name, I would call myself Nice Yang, because I like to help people out and don't like seeing people get hurt. Maybe it's because of how much it hurts when people call me bald. Anyway, thanks for taking the time to listen to me complain. Nobody ever listens to me. Hello, our friends, why don't you check out some of the top secret stuff I've been working on? I only have level 2 clearance, but my passcode is son of a... So... was not aware I was going to start writing this crap down. I got... I've got an envelope here. Two, seven, eight, four, three. So I don't even know what I really need this for. Okay, what do we hear? I know we're supposed to be in a serious situation, but I can't help but feel a little excited. Tetsuya Kawaii makes some of the most adorable figurines. I didn't think a Moon Warrior would be interested in stuff like that. Well, I've only been on Earth for a little while. It's not like I was finding Shadow Warriors all the time. I started watching the Tetsuya Kawaii Saturday Morning Cartoon Show, and well, I kind of got addicted. Really? I love that show. I've got a shelf dedicated to Tetsuya Kawaii collectibles. I even got the 88 Summer Olympic Special Edition Garo, still minted box. Whoa. Uncle Kid, isn't that a children's show? I'll have you know that Tetsuya Kawaii is one of the longest running shows in Japan. Although it has an aesthetic that appeals to children, the underlying themes can be enjoyed by adults. And don't get me started on the deep rich lore that has developed over the decades of storytelling. You tell him, Lars. Alright, sure, whatever. I'm just saying you're supposed to be a grown man. And I'm just saying that timeless storytelling transcends all ages. Oh, Lars. You're so cool. What kind of bizarre world did I walk into? Level 2 pass. So it's best with an egg in it. You are the perfect woman. What's that? I'm sorry, I just... I meant to just think that. Think what? We should, um... We should get some ramen later. That sounds great. <laughs> oh. Oh, it's a child. You aren't supposed to be here, little boy. It's dangerous. There's a monster living on the roof, you know. I didn't want to be I didn't want him to be here, but it's out of my control. I had to send everyone home. Well everyone except the young siblings. They don't listen to me. Nobody listens to me. I just want to make toys for children like you. That's what Tetsuya Kawi used to be about. They even developed our bio labs so they can make new adorable creatures that everyone could love. That didn't work out right. The research and development are doing all sorts of stuff without my permission. I guess the board doesn't trust my judgment. It's nice to see a child again. I'm surrounded by a bunch of stuffy adults. When I was a kid I used to imagine wonderful new friends and I would draw them and it would be it's like they were real. Now kids are working to play with my friends, too. I guess things aren't so bad for me. Thanks again for listening. Here's a little something. You should use that to find a way out of the building. It's on lockdown now because of the monster. I'd give you a level 4 pass, but the board won't give me one. You should still be able to find your way around with, well, well enough with that one. Thanks again for listening. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh man, I have an idea. Thaw, damn you. So I wonder if you're supposed to get the... I'm not sure what it is that determines whether or not you get stuck in the vending machine. Lars, how did you get so strong? Huh? You are so strong and dependable in combat. Do you have any secret training practices? Oh, well, um, not really. I guess I want Jelana's 70s martial arts licks. Lars, you're so funny. It's okay if you don't want to reveal your training secrets to me. What about you, Hitomi? You're way stronger than me. I don't know about that. I just went through pretty standard training for Moon Warriors. You know, mixed martial arts, gymnastics, harnessing the power of love into a destructive laser. The usual stuff. Sounds pretty intense. Not really. The only real challenge is when I had to battle a Moon Worm during my graduation exam. Moon Worms, huh? No big deal. You have also battled a Moon Worm? Oh yeah, tons of them. That's odd. The Moonworm only hatches once every 15 years. What? I mean, yeah, that's totally odd. I'm no detective, so don't expect me to crack that mystery. The important thing is that I definitely killed some moon bugs. Moon worms. Whatever. Aha. Was that in the other one too? Let's do it. Going down. So, does that automatically take me up, or can I go to a different place using this? Who's a girl? I didn't get a say in my nickname. The brother, my brothers chose it for me. You don't get to pick your family, so you've got to deal with these kinds of things. I'd much rather be called Smart Yang. My brothers are fairly stupid by comparison. I've been working on something top secret. I even have level 4 clearance. That's the highest clearance. You want to see it? Well, I'm not very strong, so I wouldn't be able to stop you if you really want my code. So here you go. So, that was... 2... This is 4... Two, three, four, five, one. We're still missing three, though. points and a Vandegraaff generator, which sounds like it's for her. So... I'm wondering, would this actually be better for Helga? Because if she's not going to attack me, 
Hitomi leveled up in that. So I'm really wondering, should I just sit down and grind with the sunflowers so that I can get the positive work ethic? Hold on. It's gonna take three fights here if I can keep getting that group with the vending machine, the robot, and the yes man. Here's what floor I'm on, so let's go to the elevator. This is 87. this video I'm gonna go do the Mr. Cat quest because that'll allow me to progress some things forward. So I'm hoping I'll have Helga. Okay. So we're done with 88. Alright, that's 89. I'm really worried that I may have to go fight Buck before I can actually finish looting. Okay, so back on the 91st floor, we're gonna go up here and see if Buck's here or not. If he is, we'll cross that bridge. Everyone? I can feel a malevolent presence beyond this door. It must be Buck. Tommy, be careful. My nephew can really back a punch. Lars, I know he's your nephew, but if he comes at you with harmful intent, I... I won't hesitate. Hey, Tommy. Yeah, I'll stay in Sunflower for now. Hmm. Look at you. You scrawny little puke. Am I supposed to be impressed? I guess you're going to defeat me and then defeat the Pulsating Mass. That's not gonna happen. You think the Pulsating Mass is evil? Sure, maybe. The way I see it, it's just power. And when I felt that power trying to wrap itself around my brain, I didn't just roll over like you. I rusted it to the ground. I harnessed it. I... I befriended it. I cherished it. It became a part of me. When it speaks, I listen. Shut up. You really pissed me off, Jimmy. Everyone treats you like you're special, but you're not even strong enough to protect yourself. I'm going to prove it. He's bullying me. Quick, get a teacher.
I do not know what that heartbroken status is. Whatever it is, they can't take action. stupid fights where, hey, it'd be really, really easy if you had status immunity, but, yeah. So, I can't stay in this form just because it's too slow. Let's hop over to bird form and hope I don't get squished. be a really cool time to go vampire, but I can't. Black spirals up. Okay, looks like I'm going flower instead. If you remember when Buck was in the party, he was so damn slow. And now he's a freaking speed demon. Right.
Son of a- I'm just gonna dodge the cop over here. that we reach the point where these things don't get any more expensive. I should have blob once I get at least poison it. Now he's gonna crash down on us. I don't know if this is a priority move, which is why I'm a little worried about using it. <laughs> Jimmy heals himself all the things.
just gonna go for the win. Thousand four hundred bucks or four thousand bucks. I think it was the largest. Thirty-six punches. Thirty-six sunflower levels up, but only once, unfortunately. Jimmy, it's time to give up. You have no chance. You've never had a chance. I said, shut up. Don't think you're stronger than me. I went easy on you because you're my little brother. Next time will be different, so you better get stronger. Way stronger. You better not make mom cry. What's up with Buck? But he seems even angrier than usual. Your brother is very strong, Jimmy. You should be proud. Anyway, me and Hutomi have decided have been talking things over, and we've decided we're going to get married. Whoa, you work fast, Uncle Kid. It's just that we have so much in common. I never thought I'd meet the one of my dreams, but here she is. Hutomi, you're strong. You're smart, strong, and the most beautiful girl in the galaxy. I like how you love video games, anime, and collectibles. I feel like I can spend the rest of my life with you. Oh, Lars. So anyway, that's why Hitomi and I are in love. Now we're going to get married and live on the moon. Well, Jimbo, I guess this is goodbye. I know you want me to stay, and part of me wants to stay too, but this is the first time I've had an opportunity like this, and I know I should take it. Goodbye, Jimmy. I wish you great fortune on your adventure. Always remember the saying to my people. Fighting love power. Bye, Jimbo. Thanks for always being my friend. You've got a weird family, kid. Buck, are you done yet? Oh, hello, Jimmy. I guess Buck left again. That boy. He's really been a handful ever since he turned into a monster. Well, monster or not, he's still your brother, so he needs to treat you better. Next time we see him, I'll make like, sure to give him a talking to. Anyway, it's good to see you, honey. And I see that Mr. Tanaka is here as well. Whoa, mama kid. Looking good. Mr. Tanaka, I'm a married woman. Speaking of your father, is he okay? The last time I saw him, he was jumping off a very tall place despite his severe allergy to heights. Don't worry about it, mama kid. Papa Kid was beating a total square back in Jinryu. That sounds like my honey bear. Well, let's go back and give him a little visit then. There's an elevator in my room that'll take us back to the lobby. So we'll do that one. she can get inflicted with. Can't she get immune deficient? Nope. Six sleep afraid. healed. Let's see if we can get his dad and then I'll come back and explore because then I can kind of do two birds with one stone.
Okay, let's go on in and see what's going on. It's up here. So we'll do a couple side quests after this, Mr. Cat for sure. I don't know if we'll be able to do Mr. Beaver's quest afterwards or not. <clears throat> now that I'm no longer being held captive by the passion that lives in my love bug, let's review what I've discovered. The secret knowledge is still badly damaged. I was only able to glean some information from it, and even then I'm only seeing bits and pieces. It's hardly enough to form coherent instructions. However, I've learned two things. First, the secret knowledge is more than just a book. It's a weapon. The book itself has the power to destroy the pulsating mass. How we utilize that power, though, I'm afraid I can't say. However, the second piece of information could be a clue. We must take the book to Central Hub. It's said that Central Hub is the nerve center for the entire world. The secret knowledge must be used there somehow to protect the world from the pulsating mass. However, we must get there before the pulsating mass. If the pulsating mass gets to Central Hub before us, then all's lost. You, the world, everything will be eradicated. Heavy. Well, it sounds like we better hurry up then. Where is Central Hub anyway? There's an old abandoned subway near here. We should be able to follow it to Central Hub. Whoa, Papa Kid! I've got bad news, man. You see, I haven't mentioned it, but Shinryu is my neck of the woods. I guess I like to keep a cool air of mystery around myself at all times. But before the petty thugs moved out into the sticks, we ran things around here. That subway, well, that's the first time we met in it. It was just a dog back then. You remember. It appeared in my nightmares for weeks, telling me it was coming, telling me to go after the kid. Then one day, it crawled out of a hole in the ground. It scared me half to death. That's when it forced us to be its henchmen. Anyway, if that's where the pulsating mass came from, then Central Hub might already be toast. That's worrisome indeed. But we have no choice. Our only option is to proceed. Jimmy, you're going to have to be brave a little longer. Don't worry, honey. Your father and I are going to be right there with you. Anyway, we need to suit him up. We'll look at his stuff in a moment. We need him to have thermal bomb. And I don't really have another physical attacker on hand. Like, the best I can do is give Punch, Roughhouse, and place off this. That way he has one AoE, and then we can have him as our clutch healer, even though he is slow as hell. So anyway, Jimmy... This is a pretty good party to have to go around looting crap. There were a lot of things I left behind in the pixelated place. I forgot what that kingdom was called. Like, I could go there fishing for sets. There's a couple side quests here and there that we can do. And real quick items. Let's just do a sweep of the place real quick. I think there's two boxes left. Yeah. Kind of need to get the rest of the uh, marvelous coins while I'm here. Okay, I think I get it now. Yeah. 
I wonder if there's like some sort of effect I'm supposed to use on this thing. coin from that fight even though it wasn't a back into our pumpkin form. And hopefully we get safely to never mind. I keep stealing the bags of sugar from the vending machines, but I'm starting to reach the limit. So let's go through. supposed to be the optional dungeon for her if you... Uh -huh. Okay, I need to go down to 88. I'll up to 88, I guess. Can we scare it out?
So I'm on the 89th floor. So going through the grating in the bathroom from the 91st floor, we wind up here. And I don't know if that one's going to lead right over here immediately or not. Is that all of them? Okay. That's the light bulb, which I was not actually trying to do, but there you go. Okay, I figured it out. I kind of gave it away. I wanted to reset this, but fine. So, ignite this with the pumpkin. Have the goon grab it. Um, push it up here. Disembodied eyes. That should counter to sleep. You get the wave cannon. That's what that does. Normal tech hits all enemies. How's that compared to Punch's Switchblade? I can't believe it. Wow. Okay, so... Me. What does it do for you? So this is the way to go. I'm going to switch over to a physical form. We're going to get rid of Brainiac in favor of the Bearer's thing, Sharp Claws. And I'm going to be kind of eager to try this. There's going to be some scenarios where this can backfire horribly, though, so don't get attached to it. But otherwise, that is everything that's here in Shinryu. A lot of it's somewhat counterintuitive, I guess. Damn helpful in grinding. It'd be better if we still had Buck. Because if you can do that twice, <laughs> yeah, that's going to be very painful. But otherwise, I'm going to duck out to the clubhouse. I'm going to deposit my money just to show you how much I have once all this was said and done. And when we pick up next time, we'll be looking at some of these side quests. Particularly, damn it, particularly Mr. Cat. He's the one I want to give kind of priority to. I don't know if I'm starting to fight the Whisper Weaver yet. But I'll look around and hedge my bets. But anyway, that is it for now, folks. I'm the Hero of Light. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.